Hello dense, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to talk about the intrinsic and extrinsic stains or discoloration. In case of ex, uh, extrinsic stains, uh, there are, uh, the, they are located on the outer surface of uh, the teeth. They are common and uh, it may be uh, the result of various causes. Example, a remnant of nascent uh, membrane. Uh, poor oral hygiene, the patient doesn't brush his teeth properly, extrinsic uh, existing restoration, if he has a, um, uh, he is, he has a uh, restoration, for example, amalgam, composite, whatever, okay, uh, so existing restoration, gingival bleeding, okay, the bleeding may cause extrinsic stains, plaque and calculus accumulation, uh, this also cause, uh, is, uh, called extrinsic stain. Uh, uh, eating habits, for example, in drinking tea, coffee, uh, this will lead to stains of the tooth. Uh, chrom uh, chromogenic bacteria, mouthwashes like chloroxidine will also cause extrinsic stains. What are intrinsic stains? They are stains that are located on the internal surface of the teeth. Okay that uh, is difficult to be removed okay while extrinsic could be uh, removed or cleaned uh, with a, a brush and a, a paste okay uh, so let's talk about intrinsic stains these are caused by deeper internal stains or enamel defects teeth with vital or non-vital pulp or endotreated can be affected causes what are the causes of intrinsic stains it could be hereditary, okay, hereditary disorders, medications like tetracycline, uh, patients could uh, take tetracycline, this will lead to discoloration of the tooth, excess taking uh, or uh, drinking of fluoride, okay, high fevers associated with early childhood illness and other types of trauma, staining can be located in the enamel or dentin. Let's go to the next page. Okay, let's talk here about intrinsic stains, causes, dental materials, uh, dental conditions and caries, trauma, infection, medication like tetracycline, nutrition deficiency if he doesn't eat properly, genetic would be, these could be genes, okay, amelogenesis imperfecta, dentinogenesis imperfecta, and uh, dentinal dysplasia, dentinal dysplasia. So these are, here as you can see, these are uh, examples of intrinsic dental stains again dental materials like amalgam okay um, dental conditions and like caries caries may, know, may cause uh, also uh, stains intrinsic stains trauma hit, hit or a hit in the tooth can you see this is a trauma will cause discoloration of the tooth uh, infection infection will also cause discoloration of the tooth Medication like tetracycline, nutrition deficiency also may cause uh, teeth discoloration. Nutrition deficiency will cause uh, intrinsic dental stains. Okay, and then finally the genetic. Okay, medications of uh, as we said, uh, tetracycline, um, deoxycycline. Uh, this or uh, known uh, to discolor the teeth uh, when given to children whose teeth are still developing. Okay, can you see the color? Antihistamines, antipsychotic drugs, antihypertensive medication can cause teeth discoloration also. Yellowish brown discoloration. Discoloration due to tetracycline. This is how it looks like. Can you see patients with? with discoloration of the tooth due to tetracycline. This is really very common. Uh, people with smoking ha have bad uh, have smoking habit habits. Can you see the stains? This could be removed with a uh, scaler. Okay, could be removed with ultrasonic scaler. Okay. Different types of uh, mouth discolorations, uh, smoking, this is 
south looks like and then we have white things also uh, aging due to aging yellowish uh, color the teeth becomes yellowish then food stains also will cause uh, discoloration of uh, the teeth okay thanks for listening today and uh, i hope uh, today's slides and uh, topic was of interest to you and uh, please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell for more videos bye see you later goodbye and have a time